and action. Welcome beautiful humans. Today we are going to explore these five yoga postures and they're all upward facing postures. And as opposed to prone. So these. So we are going to, I teach these first because most people could be on their backs. Yoga meaning union, body, mind, soul union. We're exploring what that means to you. In addition, we are doing things to increase flexibility, increase strength, and increase balance. Overall, it's balancing your whole world. It's not just balancing your body with your kids, with your work, with your friends, with your food, etc. So we're gonna start here when you're leaving pose. So if you are not ready to lie down the mat and you're dressed to and you're not dressed to flex, turn off the video, go change and sit down on the mat and actually do this right now because it's a good exercise. Get a pen and a piece of uh, paper and write this down. And I'll tell you why, because this is what we're gonna do in class and I'm gonna have you compare how your flexibility increases, if any. So when you're leaving pose, it's a root opening, root chakra opening posture. I'm checking, I have my right knee to my chest, I've got hip flexibility, knee flexibility. I'm checking how that is on my right side. Plantar flexion on my right foot, plantar flexion left foot. Dorsiflex each of them, rotate the ankles, see how that feels. So lying flat, you could just focus on knee and hip flexibility and even ankle how that feels. If you want to engage the core, rectus abdominis, sacral plexus, solar plexus, engage, engage, lift up. Add a little bit more resistance, lift up that leg, and you can hang out here and just see how that feels. And then maybe even check your distance, how close your nose comes to your knee on your right side. You could measure with a finger, with five fingers, maybe with a ruler. I don't know how flexible or inflexible you are, but check that. So that's when we leave it on the right side. I'm gonna check the left side. Knee to the chest, I see how that feels. Hip flexion, knee flexion, and release the fingers, a hug. My nose touches my knee there. I'm pretty much, I'm pretty balanced here. Plantar flexion on both feet. Dorsiflexion on both feet. Lift that long leg. How does that feel? Engage sacral and solar plexus. Okay, check that first. Next pose. Eye of the needle. The feet are flat on the floor. You're gonna, I'm just gonna turn so you get, so you can see from this vantage point. From here, you're going to cross the right ankle over your left knee, give a push, see what that feels like. And then take the right ankle and draw it to your left hip crease, give that a push, see what that feels like. See how open that hip is here. Can you open your hips? Most people's hips are so freaking tight. Then eye of the needle, you're threading your right hand through the eye of the needle, the left hand reaches behind your hamstrings and see how that feels. Where's the tightness? Where am I? I'm feeling it right now and right hip, right glutes. And then you're gonna check, I'm gonna lift up, engage sacral plexus, solar plexus. Lift up your head and shoulders. So here I am, lifting up, see how that feels, and then see how close that nose comes to that knee. Take a measurement, you can hang out here. Maybe it's like, hand span's about eight inches. Maybe it's a fist, about a fist on this side. Ah, ouch, whatever. Do the other side. Feet flat on the floor. Do it this way. Left ankle over right knee. How does that feel? Open up that hip. Ouch, ah. Slide the left ankle to the right hip crease. Open that up. Ouch, ah. Left hand threads through the eye of the needle. Reach behind the right hamstrings. Lift up. And holy moly, I'm about, I'm so much tighter on this side. This is nice. So I need to be on this side a little bit more. So I need to practice what I preach more and hang out here because this side is so much tighter than the other side. Sheesh kebab. Recline twist. Recline twist. Lie down, crossing the right leg over the left, right on top of the left. Legs fall to my left. Reach my arm out to the right and turn my head to the right. How does that feel? Aim the knees down to the mat. Palm up, scoop the knees up toward the left shoulder. How does that feel? Ah, uh, ouch, jot it down. Untwist, uncross, other side. Just gonna look here. 
Let the legs fall to the right. Extend the left arm up to left, turn one left. How does that feel? Hmm, I don't know. Tighter. Scoop these knees up. Mm, tight, out. I really need to work on this side a lot more. Learn something new every day. That's recline twitch. Bridge. Bridge pose. So we're going to go from not only try the feet flat, but also on your heels and also on the balls of your feet. And when you're on the balls of your feet, try not to let your ankles roll up. So I'm here at the bridge. I'm going to push up and so I'm reaching my fingertips to my uh, heels. I'm tucking my chin to my chest and I'm lifting up and hanging out there. Hang out that bridge. Take your time slowly, gently rolling down. Rest if you need to. Go on your heels, push up in your bridge. See how that feels. Try to keep your head straight. A couple of breaths. Ouch, ah, OMG. Slow that down and then walk your toes toward your, your heels towards your glutes. Go to balls of your feet. Make sure ankles are not rolling out. They're parallel. Push up and hang out there. Your chest is coming as close to your chin as possible and you prefer to repeat that or not. And just notice what areas are getting activated up that center line. And then reverse table. You could also do a reverse plank Reverse table, my preferred way that you try this is that you, are, you sit up tall, hands at your sides, and do look at the five Tibetan rites, three repetitions. So go on the YouTube search bar on top, right? Tibetan rites, three reps for my channel because I describe this in detail. Have the hands by your sides, fingertips are pointed toward my toes, and I'm going to do an exhale with my chin and my chest, and I'm gonna lift and inhale to a reverse table. So that's my inhale, and this is my exhale. And you could do this as a flow exercise. Exhaling, breathing is through your nose. Inhale, lift up, hyperextend the neck. That is your inhale. At the end of the inhale, begin to come down and exhale and get your hips in between your hands. If you cannot lift up from there, easier version is, you're here, you start here, you step your feet in toward you, you step your hands back, you inhale, lift up, and then when you exhale and lower and you can't scoot back, you just come off and you get your rest. Repeat or not. That's it. And then for the test for students in my class, go to the video of the 2-1 breathing, seated and walking. And that's it. Easy peasy. Very good. Good job, kids. Thank you. Love and light to you, and go practice. Good job.